hair. What is that doing there? I'm having a really bad hair day, so excuse me. Hi guys. Um, so today, seeing as we are in now in the month of November, oh my god, can you believe it? Like, where has 2014 got on? It is insane! And it's going to be Christmas, so I'm so excited. Um, but no, seeing as we are now in the month of November, I thought that I would do my October favourites video. So without further ado, let's get started. Now, the first thing that I have been loving well, not loving, well I've been loving this. Um, in October I was told that I had to wear glasses and that I had to have two pairs. One for reading and one for doing things. Like what does that mean, doing things? Like you breathe, like breathing is doing something. So do I wear them all the time? I don't know, I don't know. If you can answer that, please leave me a comment because <laughs> that would be really, really helpful. Um, so yes, I needed two pairs of glasses so I went to the optician and there was only one pair of frames that I liked. Out of all these glasses, one pair of frames. <sighs> Life. So I decided to get the same frame for my two pairs of glasses. So with that came the fact that I needed a two separate glasses cases. Um, for them so I can tell them apart. I've got that one bit of hair which is really annoying me and sorry I'm not looking at the lens right now guys but uh, ah, um, really bad hair day today. Um, and so I needed two glasses cases, that's what they're called. Um, and so I wanted one that was really pretty and I could distinguish my doing things glasses from my reading and computer work glasses. So I managed to find this beautiful little thing. It is a glasses case with two little forms on and a nice floral print. It is gorgeous. It's just my style and I fell in love with it as soon as I got as soon as I saw it really. Um it was six pounds as you can see it's black velvet standard inside my glasses. Um and it was £6 and the brand is Cat's Eye, Cat's Eye London and I I love it. On the back it's spotty which is just really cute, I've still got the price on even though I've had them all while, lots of daisies. Um, um, yes, if you like glasses, well not if you like them but if you need them they've got that. So yes, I've been enjoying that a lot. Next thing I have been liking is Mr. water. Now I have always been kind of a bad beauty vlogger, shall we say, be naughty. Um, I have always stuck to makeup wipes. I know, I know, it's a sin, slap on the wrist. Um, but I have now discovered this, and this is the Garnier one, um, Mr. Lair Cleansing Water, even for sensitive skin, which I've got, and it is fantastic. Um, I've had this bottle for about a week and look how much left. I use it every day or sometimes twice a day and I've only used that much which I think is value for money. It is £5 and you only need to take a cotton pad and pour a little bit on and wipe. You don't have to scrub like sometimes you do with a bad makeup wipe. Uh, it's really sensitive and nice and it's better for your skin than makeup wipes. I've learned so I'm never going back there. <laughs> Don't you worry. Oh, God. Um, the next thing I have been loving is this. Well, these. And these are Yankee Candle scented tea light candles in salted caramel. In my last video, I think I mentioned how much I love salted caramel, and this. Oh, just smells like salted caramel. It's so so good. Um, I had two on last night, and it filled. They fill my room. Like, um, and they smell like a sweet shop. Well, not like a sweet shop, but like salted caramel. So, oh god. And the thing is, they last um, because the scent kind of lingers. Because I was burning them up until about eleven o'clock last night and you can still smell it in my room now so that is amazing 
they don't last very long because they're only two lights but yeah and they just look like that they've got a little bit of sugary topping <laughs> for a candle and yeah they come in a box of 12 I think they were um, 5 99 for 12 which I think is pretty good for Yankee so yes yeah, so I've been enjoying them <laughs> Um, the next thing I have been liking, which I cannot get enough of, and I've recommended it to so many people. Will you stop barking, Ted? Trying to vlog in the house when you have a dog in the other room who wants to come and see you is quite difficult. <laughs> Never mind. What was I saying? Um, oh yes, this little product, well this quite big product, I have been loving this is my second bottle um, and I have been recommending it to everybody um, it is the Knit and Fab Yoga Blend Body Wash with relaxing lavender coconut and rose fragrance and it is gorgeous it comes in a bottle like that it's quite expensive um, it's seven pounds fifty which I think is quite pricey for a body wash but it lasts and Oh my gosh, it's amazing. When I'm feeling anxious or stressed or nervous about anything, I put this in the bath or I have it in the shower and it instantly relaxes me. You know sometimes you have the lavender scent and they don't really smell like lavender very much. They, you can, there's a hint of lavender, but not very much. This is all lavender, baby. Like, oh, it's amazing. It's so relaxing. I'm a massive fan of lavender anyway and this really does help to unwind and de-stress like it says and yeah it's natural dry cleansing and yes I just I enjoy this a lot and I recommend getting this if you are an anxious person or just stressed about <laughs> about something <laughs> almost dropped it then that wouldn't be very good but I'm also Ah, love it. Speaking of the lavender theme, um, I have been having real trouble sleeping at the moment. I suffer with anxiety and it's been quite bad recently and anybody who has anxiety will know this, that you sometimes have real trouble sleeping because your body can't relax and I have been feeling that a lot recently. I haven't been sleeping until about four o'clock and it has been hell so I went and went a bit mad in boots um, for lavender this was quite expensive this came to 20 pounds um, and yes yeah, so it's two Cotswold lavender products that's upside down Holly um, the first one is a slumber spray and it is lightly you lightly missed this is the bottle speaking now what would a bottle sound like if it could talk? You lightly missed. <laughs> no, I don't. Um, lightly missed onto your pillow to soothe the body for a restful night's sleep. And it's really nice. And yeah, it's hardly got any like ingredients in it. It's just aqua, alcohol in it, pulsoberate, AP, and lavender. And that's it. So sometimes you get with products it's a massive list but these are au naturel and they just help to unwind you. Then the next thing is a slumber gel and it is with lavender and chamomile and you just rub it into your temples or on your wrists at any pulse points and yeah it just helps to de-stress the mind. And let you float into a sleep that's full of happiness and joy. Yay! The next thing that I have been loving, <laughs> this is such a random one, I'm, I'm so sorry guys, but this is from um, this. As you can see, it's half drunk already, and I currently have it in my little tiger moustache jar cup. Mm. And it is the sparkling Mexican lime and lemongrass 
press present press i want to say press i'm gonna call it press anyway and it says it is this refreshing press blends zesty mexican lime juice with fragrant lemongrass and natural spring water and it is from Mark and Spencer's and normally I am really fussy with drinks um, I don't like weird juices but this I love because I love lime um, and I love mojito and I've also been really really loving their mojito juice which it just tastes like mojito like it's really it's it's, it's amazing um, but this is just as good it's fizzy this one um, and like the mojito juice which is still um, and yeah it comes in a nice glass bottle like a wine bottle and yeah this was two pounds so again quite pricey but worth it and this is my I make sure that no one in the house drinks it I'm very protective over my little baby lemongrass juice even though it's not juice it's sparkling so pop the next thing I've been loving is this palette and doesn't it look like Urban Decay Naked Palette? How exciting. Um, it's by Warpaint, W7. And I got it from a little shop. I think it was their shop. Um, and it they sell all reduced makeup and things. And it's an amazing dupe. Um, I, it's in a metal tin, which I love. Because it's like Urban Decay. And it has 12 colours are like that the lightest one is latte then angel venice marilyn copper pot sun kissed alice bad manners coffee cup mudslide tokyo and fashionista and i have been really really liking this um the pigment is really good um if i could just swatch my finger a bit like look at that pigment that is amazing that's fashionista that's the darkest one and then the lightest one is that and I like it a lot so I've got that on my fingers and yeah so I've been enjoying this the colours I use the most are probably Latte mm, Angel mm, Copper Pot Sunkissed and Bad Manners um, yeah, I am. Um, this was five ninety nine, which I think is amazing. So deep, and they had lots of other colours like um, various nudes and like naked. Um, and I would recommend this if you fancy the naked palette but can't quite afford it. And this is six pounds, so it's perfect pocket money prices. And yes, I like it a lot. The next thing that I have been loving next thing on my list is on the floor so I shall be back are these shoes <laughs> um wow I actually got these in the summer and they're from Armani um, and they're little shoes that I used to, like I used to wear when I went to school and they are really cute and um, they're in a light pink shade just happening to my necklace and um, a light pink shade and they just look adorable with tights um, I'd wear them with the outfit I'm wearing today um, and they look really nice and I also got them in black because when I saw them I kind of fell in love with them and I haven't really worn them much during the summer because I think they'd look a lot better with tights rather than just bare, bare feet and I wear sandals an awful lot in the summer anyway so these little bad boys and I think if they still do them they are £8 so yeah I think that's a bargain. The next and final thing that I've been loving in October is You Magazine. I have been reading You for years now because my family get the mail on Sunday and it is a Sunday supplement. Um, I really enjoyed it this month because they seem to have stepped up their game when it comes to style and fashion. and. Um, the layout is a lot more edgier and it reminds me of L. So for a free magazine, that is very, very exciting. Um, they also changed their pages so this feels more glossy and more luxurious. So you can see the shine. Ooh, shiny. 
Um, and yes, and this issue in particular was really interesting because I interviewed bloggers, so that was really right up my street. So guys, that was my October favourites video. I hope you enjoyed um, and feel free to comment um, what you've been loving on October because I'd love to know and if you've got any recommendations for me to check out then just let me know and yeah, thanks for watching. Bye! <laughs> Hello everybody! <coughs> so... Hello everybody! <coughs> why is my tongue blue? Toothpaste, that's why! My toothpaste is blue, so excuse the blue tongue. Hello everybody! <coughs> Hello everybody! Hi guys! Hi guys! So today, as seeing as... <coughs> Hi guys! So seeing as today we are... Hi guys! Sticking with the lavender theme, I seem to have no trouble sticking at the moment. Oh, there's a little mini! Oh! There's a little mini! Ah, my cutie! This is my favourite! <laughs> I have been loving her in October. My family. What's an event? Look! My favourite! Do that one again, shall we?